Ukrainian lawmakers and the International Monetary Fund locked in talks in Washington, D.C. on Thursday to secure the next tranche of a $17.5 billion bailout program for Ukraine. Finance Minister Natalie Yuresko told reporters that another $1.7 billion is likely to be released next month, that despite the lack of consensus among Ukraine's foreign creditors about ways the government can find essential savings to balance the books. She added that Kiev could be forced to secure a moratorium, legal measures which would delay any payment to private investors. The IMF has demanded other criteria be met. For example, more independence of the National Bank of Ukraine. Selected assets also have to be sold. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said, We again insist that our position is unchanged. Debts to private creditors should be restructured. We made our demands, our proposals to the private investors, and we expect that these private investors will be in a position to help us in the fight against Russian aggression. But with creditors from Russia demanding $3 billion immediately, any settlement is likely to be hard to reach. Our correspondent in the U.S. says Washington has now adopted a so-called wait-and-see stance. It will look at support of the Ukrainian parliament further to determine whether officials will be able to negotiate with creditors and restructure the debts, and only then the U.S. will send the money.